Are you still looking for that right person? Are you tired of looking for love in all the wrong places? Nexus, the number one dating service. Call us now at no charge. Let us match you with your someone special today. Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Welcome to Nexus. How may I help you? My name is Mr. Brown. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Is he in? One moment, please. Mr. Roth, there's a Mr. Brown to see you. I don't know any Mr. Brown. Does he have an appointment? Did you have an appointment, Mr. Brown? No. I'm a friend of a friend. Tell Mr. Roth Mr. Brandt sent me. He said to tell you Mr. Brandt sent him. Tell Mr. Brown I'm unavailable. Uh, tell him I left the building. I'm sorry. Mr. Roth isn't available at this time. Would you like... Hello, Mr. Roth. This isn't supposed to happen. I have a message from the people at Recall. Completely clean. The killer, or killers, knew exactly what they were doing. This crime scene has been sanitized. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah. One moment, please. Mr. Roth, the office manager. <sighs> Why go to all this trouble just to whack the manager of a dating service? There is an uncharacteristic protrusion in the zygomatic arch above the right mandible. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yes. And I am taking this out of his. Thank you. Be careful out there. I'll see you tonight. Okay. You've got to get me out of here, David. I gave it a chance, but I'm beginning to feel like a caged animal again. I did not agree to take a cup full of pills. I did not agree to let them dope me into a stupor. I don't want to feel drugged. I, I want to feel alive. Damn machines. That was your dad? Yeah. I don't think he likes this place any more than he liked the last place. Do you think he would like to come and stay with us for a while? Yeah, you wouldn't mind? Mind? You get to ask him about all your old girlfriends. Get the unedited version of what they were really like. I gotta go to work. Can you call Dad's doctor and I'm gonna start the paperwork? Mm -hmm. Let me take care of it. Okay, people, listen up. The dead man, Roth, had on his person a concealed list, identical to the implanted person's list we found on Robert Krochek. 
With recent events at Nexus, it is imperative that we recontact all 56 survivors on Krochek's list so that we can determine if any of those people had a direct connection with Roth, or if any of them had motive to kill him. Divide up the list. I don't think I have to stress the urgency of this matter. With what we know so far, as far as the assessor's office is concerned, there's no connection between recall and the killings. Any sign there is should be reported to me immediately. Morales, you stay with Favre on this one. Hume, I want you with me. Hi, my name's Simon. Uh, I've been single for, ooh, about, uh, uh, about two months now. Um, I'm a little nervous about calling Nexus because, you know, <laughs> like I need a dating service. So, uh, the kind of person I'm interested in has to be a... Uh, Hi. I downloaded the Roth disk. I reformatted and defragged it. It has 60 interviews like this one, same as the people on Krochek's list. But I found a 61st name on the disk, one that was purposefully erased from the original list. Hello, my name is Carol. I've been single for almost a year. What do you say at a time like this? Um, call me? <laughs> there, I said it. So. This is a joke? As far as we know, that's the woman you know as Olivia Hume. She's being interviewed as a candidate for the Nexus Dating Service. David, I'm sorry. This seems crazy to me, too, but we've got to get Olivia in here to do a brain scan to make sure she hasn't got an implant like the rest of the people on this list. Kelly said she wasn't on the list. She wasn't. We need to be sure. everything they can to find out. David, there's something else. She's really a man? This GIF was embedded on every file on the disk as if it were meant to be found. Now here's the same GIF blown up to its original size. We haven't identified the man on the left. Of course, that's Robert Krochek on her right. So? Pictures can be manipulated. First she's on Krochek's list, then she's off, and now she's back on it. Why are you believing this? It appears Olivia's name was erased from the list. We need to know why. And as difficult as that's going to be for you, you have to talk to her. We need to do the scan. For what? You want to run tests for, for this? David. Olivia is my friend, too. And this test is for her safety. There's gotta be another one. There isn't. Not to be sure. Now I can be there when you talk to her. Explain the medical procedure, the brain scan, whatever's involved. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be wrong. Okay. I won't do it at her work. Give me a chance to call her. Okay. Okay. There before, and I ain't going there again without more proof than what I just saw. All right, but the way these implants work, if she has an implant, her memory of Carol will be completely suppressed. She'll have no idea, and the only way to prove it is to do these tests. Okay. Dad, I thought you might be busy later. Hey, Dad. He knew about this, right? Yeah, yeah, he's overcome with happiness. Whoops, there's that look. There's something he hasn't told you. Uh, David. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, my father, Tyler Hume. Olin Chang, CPB medical officer. You're a doctor. Sorry. I don't like doctors. 
Don't worry. <laughs> David. Hey, what's wrong? <gasps> I don't even. I don't even know where to start. David, why don't you let me handle it? to come into the CPB lab for some imaging work. A CAT scan. A CAT scan? What for? Why? This is going to sound crazy, so I'm just going to come out and say it. There's a possibility that you may have been given a brain implant. It's not a certainty. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Your name was on a list of verified implant victims we recovered from Nexus. The dating service. What else? There was an interview where you referred to yourself as Carol. And a photograph of um, Carol and Krochek and this other man. Um, this is not me. Is it? This woman barely looks like me. I mean, look at her hair. Have I ever worn my hair like this? I know, it's crazy. But I still need you to come in for the tests. Maybe this happened before we met. Maybe this happened before you and David met. Owen, I don't know anything about Nexus, okay? And I don't know about, about this Carol woman. David, come here. You don't believe this, do you? No. No, I don't. Well, I just humor them, or I will. We'll take the test, we'll show. I would know. I would know if there was an implant in me. Wouldn't I? Yeah. They don't know what we know. Okay? Somebody's got to stay with Dad. I'll take care of him. It's okay. Right. <laughs> I'll be damned. Your mother and I used to have a place with a big stone hearth when we started out, back when they had real firewood. Might as well turn it off, David. It's not doing any good. You want some, uh, you want some of that tea or something? Yeah, I'd love some. You ever see this? Before you were born. I went to Mars when I got out of the service. It was a uh, wide open territory then, a real frontier. A little difficult for your mother at first, but... Uh, you never really did tell me why you left Mars. Stupidity. Some company on Earth offered me a lot more money. It seemed like a good idea at the time. We needed it. You were on the way. But all I did was sit behind a desk eight hours a day. After being out in the field at Mars, I really felt alive out there. And your mother got sick. I don't know. I guess a lot of me died with her. What's this? Warm water with some color in it? When's Olivia coming back? Soon, Bob. You let that lady doctor take her, didn't you? I trust her. She's a... Never trust doctors, David. They do things to you. They did things to me in that place. Have you seen my book anywhere? It was right here. Damn it. They took my book again. I need that book. Sorry. Dad, this is... 
your own now. As long as you need it to be. Thank you. David, if you love her, just be there for her. It's all you can do, son. The good thing about this test is the results are conclusive. So we'll know everything we need to know a few minutes after we're done. Are you scared? Yeah. I'll be right here. You told him she wasn't on the list. She wasn't. Have you identified the man in the photo with Olivia and Krocek? Not yet. But the assessor's division is given a top priority. We're looking at every possibility, including the possibility that he and Krocek may have worked together within recall security apparatus. You keep me posted? As soon as I know, you will. This man's implant was successfully removed after Krocek's list was discovered. He still retains some memory of his life before the implant, and he, he may give us a link to Roth there. I was browsing through my e-com. It was a promotional campaign. They offered me a free recall holiday. That's why I joined Nexus Dating. Sir, can you identify this man? Roth. Joseph P. Nexus dating employee ID number 77891305. Like I said, the name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Like a lot of things from my past. He and several other Nexus employees were murdered today. Yeah. I saw something about that on the vids. If you're expecting me to be sympathetic, well, I'm not. I understand how you must be feeling, sir. But anything you can remember would help us a great deal. Anything at all. Can you play his voice for me one more time? Give me Callie, Assessor's Division. Olin. Are you sure? It's the same as the others, yes. I'm sorry, David. I, uh, I want to talk to her. Okay. David, whatever you're feeling right now, we have to act fast to treat Olivia's medical condition, okay? I want to talk to her. said she knows the neurosurgeon at Mercy Hospital where the other implants were removed. She's the best. Uh, when... When can she get you in? Right away. Today. You need anything? Just you. I'll be there. I think we have a break in the Nexus case. Let's hear it. We have been able to account for all the implant subjects except one. Bradley Brown, an investment consultant, unmarried, presently on leave. No explanation given. Hi. My name is Bradley. Most people call me Brad. I've been I think a talk with Mr. Brown is in order. He lives in Sector 8. Yeah, I'll key in his address on the way. Mr. 
Brown, this is the CPB. Open the door. The subliminator. We should be able to find him. That alley's a dead end. Start a perimeter search. Come on. Okay, people, move, move, move. Let's go. I'm looking for my wife, Olivia Hume. Yeah, she's in 6130. The doctor's in with you right now. 6130, thank you. David, she's in with the surgeon right now, but you could probably go in with... I don't, I don't know. No, wait, 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 wait. That's my wife. Yeah, I know. She's had an embolism. Well, what caused it? I don't know. Somehow the implant has become unstable. We're going to prep her for immediate surgery. Surgery? Yeah, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, let's go. Come on. Mr. Hume. Yeah. It was a uh, touch and go for a while. Soft implants are hard to extract. But the embolism is stabilized and she's out of danger. So now it's up to her. Can I see her? Well, she's in post-op now. Uh, after a surgical procedure like hers, the recovery period can be lengthy. She'll wake up when she's ready. What about the implant? It's located uh, midway to the frontal lobe. This goes back to the CPB lab. Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll see you back at the bureau.
surgeon said the implant was placed in the frontal lobe. That's consistent with some sort of control device. Good morning. Good morning. How is Olivia? She's improving, thanks. I'm glad to hear it. I need to know more about this implant. You got anything? Mm-hmm. Olivia's implant is a control device, like the others removed from the people on the Roth list. It's designed to block out short and long-term memory. Also, there's a communication module set to receive signals. What kind of signals? If I am correct, David, and Mr. Brown has the same type of implant, they're being used to create automatons, persons whose actions are not controlled by their own will and intelligence. The question is why? You. Got a second? The man in the photo with Olivia and Krocek is Jack Brandt. He works for Recall. As did Krocek. They both worked on the sublimator program together. His file was protected with an extremely high-level security code. That's why it took us this long to make the match on him. Let's bring him in. Already in the works. Men from the assessor's division are at Recall now. If everything goes as planned, we should have Brandt in custody in a few minutes. If everything goes as planned? We are on the same side, Detective. I get him first. I don't have a problem with that. Fine. We've all seen the photo. Get whatever answers you need. But at the end, we do need his testimony and his cooperation. You may or may not have heard there was a multiple homicide at Nexus Dating Service. I heard about it, yes. I told the men who arrested me I have no idea how it has anything to do with me. No. One of the victims was the office manager, Roth. Did you know him? I know a lot of people. The reason why you're here is there was a disc found on his body. A disc that contained a list of names of people who had responded to a promotional campaign run jointly by Nexus and Recall. We did a lot of campaigns, Detective. Yeah. How many of them involve brain implants? None. May I have some water, please? Have a look at this. You want a little help? You see, that's you. And that's Robert Krocek. You worked with him in recall. We worked together, yes. But then you know that already. Do you recognize the woman? Yes. Yes, it was a long time ago. How long? Seven years. Do you have a particular interest in her? Last time I checked, I was asking the questions. We know about Krocek. Who is she? I can give you a lot of information, Detective. What do I get in return? In return for your full testimony, the people above me are prepared to offer you protective custody. I knew the woman in this picture. Krocek introduced us. He was the recruiter. He looked for good candidates for the implants, people whose prospects within their chosen fields might make them valuable in the future. Why her in particular? A young robotics wizard, an honor student with a bright future. She fit the profile perfectly. I think she and a couple of her girlfriends just came in on a dare. But once she was in the system, I, after the interview, I tried to take her name off the list. I had to do it secretly so that recall wouldn't know what I was up to. I even had her move to the end of the list, hoping we wouldn't get that far. Unfortunately, we did. Why? Why would you do that? I knew what was going to happen to the people on the list. I didn't want it to happen to her. Who else knew? Who knew? Roth at Nexus. The implantations were done there. 
keep their hands clean. There was a time, once in the very beginning, I, I could have said no. And this photo never would have been taken and we never would have met. But I was too young and too ambitious. Once you don't say no to them, they've got you. They? Who's they? Roth was trying to find out. Krochik and I, we... We knew better than to ask. No. After what happened to Krochek, Roth must have kept this picture as insurance. He knew just like I did, we were all being watched day in, day out. And you don't know who to trust. Information is your only ally. What did he have on you? Huh? What did he have on you? What is... What is one photo proof? Roth found out I was trying to protect her. He knew he could get to me through her. Why protect her? Well, why go to all that trouble if she doesn't mean anything to you? If she doesn't... Olivia's the only reason I'm doing this, Detective. What'd you say? What'd you say? She wasn't always your wife. She used to be Carol. And I was in love with her. You understand? I loved her. As much as any man could. As much as you. You. You all right? I just need a minute. Take it in the lab. I need to show you something Owen found. The device has a chemical release mechanism as well as a cerebral transmitter. So this would affect not only the memory, but the regulatory area of the brain as well. A person with such an implant could be programmed for any behavior. There is no doubt that Mr. Brown has one of these implants. We know all of the people on Roth's list have a similar implant. Now, in Olivia's case, the position of the release mechanism was slightly altered. And I think that Olivia's was activated. If it was, removing it may have caused irreparable damage. I'm in with you. No. You need me right now, Detective. Having me with you is the best chance you've got to find out what you need to know before somebody above me takes this case away. No one's taking it away. Oh, really? If this case leads to the person above Brandt and Krocek, you can be sure this is about to get bigger than either of us can hold down. I know about implants. I know the history. I can ask the right questions and verify the answers. You can't. You need me. This guy, he knows, he knows everything. You don't know what you're gonna do in there, do you? Your future's in my hands, Mr. Brandt. Now, Olivia's device had been activated. Did you know that? Yes. Those implants were a prototype, devised as an early form of recall travel, a method subsequently abandoned. They hoped to implant a kind of micro-sublimator activated at will by the implantee. Our information is that whole area of research had to be closed down. I don't know for sure. But each of the implants was given a special sublimator. That I do know. Mr. Brandt, the implants were a control device. Why would Recall want to control these particular people? The list was composed of people with few family connections. Krocek and I got their names from Roth for that specific reason. 
it was it was easier to change their identities. The beauty of it for recall was that people didn't even know who was controlling them or even that they were being controlled. Why was Olivia's activated now? She needed help. When she was out of danger, then I could try and save myself. She's still in danger. I had no choice, detective. I had to activate it to protect her. You see, I was her control. It was the only way I could protect her during those seven years. Until Krocek was ordered to clean up any evidence the program existed. That's when I had her name deleted from the files. I didn't know about Roth's copy of the disk. And because of it, you get the only thing in life I ever wanted. When we were married, did you see her? Did you see her? No. Not the entire time she was your wife. Not once. Now let's get to the good stuff. Brandt accepted protective custody. He'll testify against recall. What about Brown? Farva's out there running down all we've got. Brandt couldn't give me anything more. I don't think he knows. Him? He found out what he needed to. There's been no change. If she so much as moves a muscle, I'll call you. Come on now, you're as bad as your father. Just let me look after her, at least until she wakes up. about the old neighborhood. The old neighborhood? Yeah, back when I was your age, this was the nicest part of town. It's where your mother and I started out. Not much now, but I'll tell you that. It was great. Here we are. Here? Place it uh, Looks like it was built in the last century. It was. I think we can do better. I don't. Good area, good people, friendly, mind their own business. This neighborhood's not safe, Dad. Well, 
Maybe you'll have to drop by and check in on the old man once in a while. I'm gonna stay, David. Reminds me of the old days with your mother. The dreams we had. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Seeing you and Olivia, I realize how proud I am of you. How, how proud your mother would have been. I feel, uh... What? what? Makes you feel what? I don't know. Alive. <laughs> and whatever there is left in this old fart, I'd like to share it with the two of you. How do I argue with that? She was stirring a bit. Thank you. 